heard so many different things. What's the story behind the split between you and Larry Sharp? Well, the bottom line is, and Larry, Larry was a great guy to party with and a good friend, but his business aspect was terrible. I mean, he was a greedy bastard. And a lot of people today have a lot of hard times doing business with Larry. We went to Japan as a team. We went to Memphis as a team. We had a lot of fun. We made a little bit of money. When I first started in business, Larry Sharps, wanted, you know, I signed a contract, 10% for five years, which is cool. You know, I didn't mind because that we were that close with friends. But we go over to Japan. So now Larry Sharps over Japan, he swings a deal where, you know, I'm working 15 weeks guaranteed year, five grand a week. He's working 10 weeks a year over there as my manager, making 3,200 bucks a week. And then he still wanted me to pay him 10% on top of that. Oh. So, you know, it was a little bit greedy and, and I wasn't that stupid. And I just said, you know, Larry, you're wrong. You know, you're getting too greedy. You, you know, you should be paying me 10%. And that's where we parted ways, you know. I just said, Larry, you're fired, you know. You can't fire me. Anoki, I'm not coming in. Tear the contract <laughs> out. If he comes, I quit. And and he wind up sitting at home, getting. A, and, and another thing with the deal was, was that when he was over there with me in Japan, he got thirty two hundred bucks to manage me. But when he was home and I was there, he got fifteen hundred dollar week booking fee, wow. and he still wanted me to pay ten percent. So that that's a bad deal, you know. I mean, yeah. it was a bad deal. So we parted ways. Larry wind up getting, you know, his 1500 for 10 weeks. Right. Uh, actually, 14 weeks. He got paid off. And then down the road, you know, we got into a big lawsuit. We went to court in his hometown <laughs> with jury of his own peers, and he lost. So, <laughs> because he breached his fiduciary duty. And his fiduciary duty was, you know, what's best for Bam Bam Bigelow. And, and, and instead, it was what was best for Larry Sharp. So right. I beat him in court. He didn't get a dime. And uh, that was the end of the relationship. Oh, OK. Have you talked to him since? I said hello to him, you know, and he's, <laughs> you know, i tell you another story. And this is this is a trip, man, because when we we're up in New York and uh, Larry came with me to negotiate my deal when I first went in, you know, and Larry was like, well, you know, Vince, man, Vince. <laughs> Vince, uh, uh, you know, uh, I want to be the kid's manager. Vince goes, well, I, I don't want you uh, coming in here, Larry. You're a snake. He goes, well, <laughs> let me snake for you. And I was like, oh, my God, you know. Yeah. So, you know, it was just the end of it, man. I couldn't stop. <laughs> it. It's just a crook. As somebody that's worked Memphis a lot, what's your take on the whole deal with them closing shop and everything down there? Oh, it's a low blow, man. I said before, I don't, I, those are places that the boys need to come up and learn. Yeah. Without them, you're not going to get the shot to come in ECW, WWF, or WCW. Um, just the fact because you're not going to have the chance to work with talent. And you know yourself on these independents. Yeah. Like Dennis Carluza, you're a fucking jerk off. <laughs> what a scumbag. I hate him. He's yeah. a jerk. Jerk, jerk. <laughs> but a, a piece of shit that is a nobody in this business thinks he's the almighty God. Did he burn you? He didn't burn me at all. You know what that jerk off did? Not the side track here, because this I want to bury this jerk. <laughs> here, we're going into court, me and Larry Sharp, and in the deposition, there's this expert witness that that <laughs> that is trying to tell um how you know, my, mine and Larry's relationship was in the deposition. And I never met this prick. And it was Dennis Carluza. And then when I confronted him, I said, you know, Dennis, you're a real jerk off. Yeah. You know, you're trying to go expert witness. He goes, Scott, I never said nothing. I got it in fucking writing in the deposition. Yeah. You know, and he tried to bury me. And I swear to God, I never even met the guy. Never even seen him. He wasn't even known in this business till he started blowing Larry Sharp. <laughs> or maybe Larry was blowing him. <laughs> um, huge guess. So, but, you know, I mean, oh, God, people like him, you know, they, they, they do these independent shows and they're so terrible. Yeah. They're so bad that the talent will never, ever, ever get to a level where they'll be able to perform. That's why Paul's got the ring open. Yeah. Guys come in and train before the show. That's why Vince got the studio cooking with, you know, with Doc, you know, running the studio up there. Tommy Pritchard, you know, yeah. who's a real good guy, good trainer, up there running the school. And that's why WCW's got their thing in their school. 
And that sucks because you're not going to learn in a school because you got green guys right. teaching green guys. Right. Yeah. You know, you're not going to have a guy for his first match come in and wrestle Bam Bam Bigelow for a six month program. You know, and that's where they, they're going to lose out. A lot of those guys, it seems like they, they just work the young kids with a dream and, you know. Exactly. They learn bad habits and bad ways and, and they, they're green and they, they stay green. Yeah. You know, it's just they, it's hard for them to break out of it. Yeah.